May Cameron lives in the remote Queensland town of Longreach. Hello puppies. Hello babies. In late 2022, she had a major health scare when monitoring detected a very low heart rate. They called the RFDS plane and I was picked up at 9 o'clock on Friday morning and in Brisbane by 1 o'clock. Let's go. The 42-year-old bank manager had an implantable defibrillator placed in her chest. She'll need regular cardiac ultrasounds, something that would usually mean leaving Benson and Millie for an 1100 kilometre trek to Brisbane. Shake. But this machine has changed that. The robotic arm means that I'm not going to have to travel away to have that done and I can actually have it done here in town in Longreach, which is, it's amazing really. Using a modified video game controller, a sonographer in the city is manoeuvring a robotic arm which has an ultrasound probe. Images are sent back instantly, meaning the sonographer can quickly report the findings to a cardiologist. It's a big leap in remote controlled testing. This is the exciting one. So this has not been able to be, have been done anywhere in the world. It could help save lives. We see a 25% higher morbidity and mortality in rural locations due to reduced access to specialist care. This team has started with remote controlled scans of the heart, which are actually the most difficult. But the potential is endless. Next up are abdominal and even pregnancy ultrasounds. And maybe one day remote controlled operations. They're life changing technical leaps for regional residents. It's the emotional side more than anything that it's going to help. Projects like this getting rolled out throughout the state would be a great step forward. Cardiac patients in Longreach and Cloncurry will be first to use the robots as part of a pilot study. Ultimately, it's hoped the machines will have global benefits. Mm. Emma Pollard, ABC News, Brisbane.